Hello, hello, and welcome to the Waybook Introducing Pro webinar. My name's Mike. I'm one of the co-founders here at Waybook, and it's my absolute pleasure to be spending some time with you this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the world, to share a little bit about some of the changes um, that are happen happening at Waybook, the updates, the new features coming, and of course, introducing you to Waybook Pro. And I'm joined also today by my colleague Elle. Um, Elle is in Birmingham, so in the smack bang in the middle of England. Um, and many of you would have already have spoken to Elle as she leads our customer support team here at Waybook. So today we're here speaking about Waybook Pro. And this is a massively exciting update for us on our side. Um, as many of you who have been a Waybook customer for a long time now and scanning the list before, there's some people here who've, uh, who've been with Waybook for a couple of years now. Um, you'll know that we're continuously updating and pushing out new features, new functionality. And Pro enables us to create a huge amount more value uh, to as many businesses as we possibly can. So we're really excited to share what the beginnings of that look like today. In today's webinar, what we're going to be going through over the next 35, 40 minutes is what is Waybook Pro? Where did it come from and what's included? Uh, we're gonna be looking at some of the core features of Waybook Pro, talking about how that might benefit your business and your Waybook account. We're also then gonna have a quick look at what's coming next within both Waybook Core and Waybook Pro. So some of the features which are, some of them are very, very, very nearly coming into all of your accounts. Um, how to switch to Pro, and then of course any Q and A which you might have. But please do keep that those questions coming either through the Q and A or if you wanted to put your hand up as well, um, we'll we'll come to you there. I'd love to just share a quick success story of uh, somebody who's been using Waybook over the last six months or so. Um, so this is a new friend of ours called Josh Turner. Josh runs a business called Stand for Socks, and they they are the most the world's most comfortable socks, but also with a social mission attached to them. What Josh has done is entirely documented all of his knowledge, systems, processes, know-how into a waybook. He was or is the solo founder and CEO of Stand for Socks, and he has quite a big and ever-growing team. What he was able to achieve with Waybook was reducing the onboarding time of new hires to just 20%. So not reducing it by 20%, reducing it to 20%, meaning his team were on board and adding value much faster. And what he also did, which was game changer for him, was he actually removed himself from all of the day-to-day -day operations. He said that he was a continual block on conversations, approvals, and things like that. And by documenting and centralizing his knowledge, he was able actually to entirely focus on what he needed to and what he wanted to, rather than being uh, a blocker in the business. And finally, the consistency that he was able to create by having everything centralized and accessible um, actually enabled them to achieve and now maintain a 4.8 star on Trustpilot, which he says is one of the biggest factors that people look at when they're buying their products. So that's just one brief example of how um, success has happened within Waybook. So firstly, what is Waybook Pro? And as we introduce this, one of the core things that we wanted to make explicitly clear to all of our Waybook customers is that as we continue to build Waybook Pro, we are entirely still committed to Waybook Core. Our absolute mission of en enabling businesses to get on the same page and remove senior leaders from the whirlwind of their businesses stays at the absolute heart of everything we do. So by the fact that we have a pro, a pro product doesn't mean we're not continuing to move at the speed we have been with Waybook Core. We're entirely focused still on providing an exceptional product, giving all of the fundamentals to help businesses get on the same page and to empower your team. And we also commit that we'll never remove anything from core. So anything you bought, anything you're on a subscription for um, that you have within core, that will never be removed from, from your plan. Pro is just there because it enables us to cater for extended use cases, more complex use cases, and also things that have an additional or incremental cost. So this might be things if we were to ever host video rather than just embedding videos, if it enables a, a much higher level of um, support or customization or anything like that, we're able to actually work with uh, a wider set of businesses providing way more value than we could have ever have dreamed of. 
Uh, and that's really directed by some of the uh, interesting use cases and requests that we've had coming out over the last couple of years. Um, and also we have a lot of businesses that are using Wavebook for, um, uh, for different parts of compliance and security and things like that. Whilst that will always be possible to achieve it within Wavebook Core, Wavebook Pro enables us to add that extra layer of compliance, that extra layer of security, that extra layer of support for businesses that need that more than the majority. So here are some of the core features which you get with Wavebook Pro right now. And I'll also be able to share with some of the core things that we have coming up. So first of all, I know many of you may already have this enabled on your domain, which is fantastic, but you do have the ability to have custom domain on your Wavebook Pro. So the reason why this is such an important one for us to include in the product in the first place is that a lot of people always want this additional layer of customization. And actually, one of the things that we hear a lot from people is that onboarding new team members is that having a Waybook enables them to have a, the next level of professionalism for their onboarding, their training and their centralized knowledge. Um, we actually onboarded somebody new this week within Waybook, and she said, which I'm quite proud of, that it's the most structured professional onboarding experience that she's ever had in any business. Um, and really, that is down to what we've been able to achieve within Waybook. And small things like having your custom domain. So this might be our knowledge or knowledge.businessname.com, whatever your domain is, actually just increases and adds that layer of professionalism. So that's essentially what that is. You can actually have any of your Waybook uh, content on your own subdomain. Um, of course, you automatically have a Waybook subdomain, whatever you chose when you signed up. But by connecting CNAME, you're able to actually have that hosted on your own domain. Now, if you don't already have this enabled, the way you can do that um, is that it's currently available and it will continue to be available on the core plans for users with over 30 seats or available on the core uh, on the pro plan. And you can actually just contact support and they will enable that on and give you the details to be able to connect that up so you can keep everybody focused on one location. So one of the second things that you get within Waybook Pro is the audit logs feature. Now, this is a really exciting feature that took a bit of understanding and conversation with various different, uh, different users to understand. And really the core calls that we got for this was people wanted the holistic account overview of everything that was happening across their accounts. Now, there's an important distinction to make here between the audit logs and the reporting and the tracking. The reporting and the tracking, which you can see um, across all of your documents, your team members, your subjects, your teams, um, that will always stay within Waybook Core. That's a fundamental part of being able to see who has access to what, who's seen what information, who understands what information. But the audit log enables you to look at all of the additional activity that happens on your Waybook account. The, one of the core seeds for this was actually with increased requests for compliance. So say, for example, if somebody marks a step as complete and then comes back and resets that progress and, and unmarks it as complete, that will obviously not be in the reports because it's currently un, incomplete, but it will be within the audit logs. So what audit logs is, is just a full list of all of your historical data across all of your account and all of your members. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just share a quick view of what that looks like in a real or a demo account. So you can access this through your settings. If you head over to your settings page, you can go straight to your audit log. And as you can see here, we can see that I've published and reset a progress for a step there. But we can also see as we've updated different users, removed people from different groups, uh, deleted different steps. And there's a whole long list here of what um, what person um, notified who or did what um, across all of your information, all of your documents, all of your accounts. So this is a really powerful tool if you want to make sure you have that consistent and holistic view. Now, the way that you can access this is, of course, on the pro plan. Um, everyone has access to all of the pro features up until the middle of August. So you can head to that in the way I've just showed you there over to your account settings and then clicking on the audit log feature. So that's one of the two things that you're getting on Waybook Pro. The next one we'd love to share with you today is, of course, the single sign-on. 
Now, single sign-on, as many of you know, enable you to create and um, give people access to your Waybook from your organizational structured sign-on. So that means, uh, or the reason why that came about um, is firstly for different layers of uh, security and permissions, but also it's for that ease and consistency of access. Now, I know many of us are bad at forgetting passwords, myself included, even though we have password management systems, but being able to log into all of your accounts, including your Waybook with single sign-on, not only saves time, but it also increases that efficiency and will give you the easy ability to remove the access, um, uh, your, your centralized access account for uh, a team member if they were to leave. And that, of course, takes the Waybook um, access away from them immediately as well. So what that is, is quite simple. It can easily connect your organization's single sign-on ports, and then your, or your users are able to log into that um, at any time using the same password that they use for everything else as well. Now, this, of course, pairs with a few other features that you already have access to. So this would be things like your two-factor authentication to make sure that that additional layer of security remains on there as well. Now, again, this the, the way you uh, enable this onto your account actually depends on what SSO um, uh, kind of system you use. A lot of people end up using the Google one. We do here internally at, at Waybook and at Term Partners, our, our parent company. But we also support all of the others. So Azure, Oracle, LastPass, um, Otscar, all, all of the others. So the process actually varies ever so slightly dependent on the ones that you're using. But once that's enabled into your account, um, support will just actually send you the simple ways of connecting. And then you will continue to invite new users as you are currently doing that with your existing plans. So that's your single sign-on. Next up is your manager permission. Now, we're really excited about manager permission as more and more people are working with Waybook and integrating that across more of their team, sometimes their clients, sometimes their people that they're onboarding uh, before they're even starting within the business. And one of the things that we heard from a few customers was that as they're, um, as they're working with different layers of management, there's certain people that they just don't, that they want to be able to manage areas of their waybook, areas of their department and their teams, but they don't want them to know that other content exists or have any touch or access to it. Now, while you can, of course, achieve that by having people as an admin or as a contributor and an author within your existing setup, um, you weren't actually able to see the reports of your team members unless you were an admin. The other thing that we saw here was that um, enabling people to see those reports for their teams um, actually freed up a lot of time from the admins of, of, the, uh, of the Waybook. So say, for example, if Elle wants to look at the customer service team, um, she would either have to be an admin or a contributor, whereas now she can be a manager. And that's essentially what manager is. It is an enhanced um, level of access and permission. And what you would have noticed is you almost have two layers of permission within your Waybook. You have the access uh, to the whole Waybook, and then you have the specific access to the content and the teams. So this is a permission level at the top level of your Waybook, and I'll show you that very briefly. But this enables them to manage groups, to manage content, and to manage reports as well. So the way you do this um, is invite new users or change your existing users to the manager permission. And this is all controlled on your members page. And then you choose what they control and what they manage based on a group structure. So I'll just head over here back into this demo account um, and I will show you here um, uh, how you can easily change an existing member. So say, for example, we've got Andrea here. She's currently a contributor, which means she can create some documents, um, but she can't manage uh, billing or invite other people, view reports or anything like that. And a manager means that they are nearly admin, but they can't manage the billing information and don't automatically have access to all of the content. So now we've made Andrea a, uh, a manager. So we've promoted her to become the marketing manager. We can head over to the group section, go into the relevant group that we want her to manage and just simply add her into that group. And then crucially, she's currently now a read member or, or, or a normal member of that group. We can actually turn that to edit and now she becomes the manager of that group. 
What that means is she is able to see and control the members going into this group. She can, of course, invite new members and she can see all of the reports for all of the subjects specific to that group. So this actually means that although she'll be able to add other members, she won't be able to see or control the content that she doesn't have manager permission to from the group structure. Now, if you're ever looking to how uh, looking for support on how you can map this to your organization, uh, there's loads of help center documents, but you can also book a free process um, expert call with one of our team and they'll help map your organizational structure to your team structure and your documents. And it's very easy once it's uh, once it's set up. You do it once and then it's always in your account. Um, there's also been a few other changes in how you manage your permissions. So say, for example, we go on to Andrea as an individual here. You can, of course, add her to new groups from here and, of course, change what group she has different levels of access to there as well. And then once again, you have the override if you wanted to skip the group structure and give somebody specific permissions on any of your subjects. So that's essentially your manager permission. Um, I feel like I made that sound more complicated than what it actually is, but it's, uh, it's, it's very straightforward when you get into it. And as I say, there's loads of support and guidance should you need as you're implementing that across your team. Now, one of the other pro features that I wanted to share with you today is the publicly shareable subjects. Now, I know some of us have had this on our account um, for, a, for uh, previously whilst we've been testing out this project, uh, testing out this feature. But the reason why this came about is we've always had within Waybook the ability to share an individual document. And that is an, an incredibly well used feature. It's used exceptionally um, well when people are looking to share a bit of information for recruitment process or whether or not they're looking to share brand documents, guidelines, delivery information to suppliers or anything that means that you don't have to have a duplication of the content and then various different expired examples. Our mission here at Waybook is to have this single source of truth and enable you to direct and control all of the different areas from that one single source of truth. So essentially, the reason why we've decided to introduce publicly shareable documents is so you can essentially share more information in the really well styled, structured and, uh, and consistent format um, that you have within your Waybook account. So how you're able to do this is actually just head on to any of your subjects and go to the settings, uh, sorry, the access settings, and you can then enable that subject to become public and then create the link for that as well. So I will just share, um, share how you do that. So of course, we've seen it previously within in edit mode on a document basis, going into the settings there. Uh, so that would share that document publicly. But if you want to share the whole subject, you just click on that subject title there, go to access, and then in exactly the same way at the bottom here, you'll be able to toggle that from private to public and then open that or copy that share link. And this means that this is accessible to anybody else, but they don't have any of the other content access controls. They can just go through, proceed to the next step, move through your information, and also do the same thing on all of your other or all of your other content uh, within that specific subject. Now, once you've shared a public uh, subject, you're able to then make all of the updates that you would do usually within your waybook, and that will of course um, change the content live, even even uh, without sending the link. So it's kind of just an updated live document of whatever it is within your waybook. Now, the one other thing to bear in mind here. Um, is that this is going to be within the pro plan, but anybody who has access to Waybook Core from uh, registered or paid for their, their product before uh, the January or the end of January this year will always have access to uh, the subjects, publicly shareable subjects moving forward. And that's part of our commitment to make sure that we're never removing anything from Core. This, this was always going to be pro, but it wasn't badged appropriately. So we just want to make sure that anything that anyone has ever got access to, they, they maintain that. So we're adding rather than people feeling um, like, like that we're, we're taking, uh, which is certainly not the intention. So that's your publicly shareable subjects. Um, there's a few other bits which are coming into Waybook Pro that are in there now and are coming very, very soon. One of them is data migration. 
Now, dependent on where you are within your Waybook journey, you might have all of your documentation in there, you might have half of it, or you might be very much on the process of getting it in. And we know that if you're a large business, um, quite often you'll have documents spread across various different systems, various different tools. And if you're even a small business, it can become quite time consuming, bringing all of this into one location. So as a Waybook Pro member, what we're offering is that we'll do a full data structure and migration into your Waybook account. So the way this would typically work um, is a, a, a Waybook user will give or request this via support. They'll give, uh, be assigned one of our process experts who they will be able to confidentially give them the access or send them the information. Our process expert will then be able to suggest a structure for both your content and also your teams, um, and will then be able to send the proposed plan over to you. Once you approve that, we will then also do all of the data migration and editing within your Waybook account. So essentially, as a pro member, you'll just send docs or add somebody into your Trello, Asana, Google Doc, Drive, Dropbox, wherever your things are. Uh, paper uh, binders, which I've definitely seen my fair share of, um, and then a Waybook process expert will actually put all of that into your account neatly, so you're just ready to add your members and continue to grow. And the final thing I wanted to share is early access and priority support. So within Waybook Pro, uh, although we're continuing to push out as many features uh, as quickly as we can, um, we know that actually people always want to get access to our information, as, uh, to, to our um, fast paced development as quickly as possible, and also want more and more ways to get their team centralized into their Waybook as fast as possible. Um, so what, what this is as part of Waybook Pro is getting early access to all of our release ready features we will go straight into Pro accounts. Um, and that's really once something's tested and we're very comfortable with that, that's a great product. We'll put that into a release schedule, but that will go straight into all Pro, uh, pro plans. Um, and then finally, we're offering additional priority support, extended support, including team training for your team. So as you're introducing new people, we can actually create a custom training schedule to make sure that your team know exactly what Waybook is, how your content structured, and making sure that they can hit the ground running so there's no blockers on them knowing exactly what to do and how to do it within your organization. So again, the way you get access to that would be uh, by having the Waybook Pro plan, you'll automatically get those features in as soon as they're release ready. But then also from the support perspective, uh, just continue as you are and your tickets will continue to be prioritized, answered. Uh, we're always working on getting, keeping that response time as low as it, as it is and, and increasing that. Um, and then all of the training or additional support is just available by request. So please let uh, myself, uh, Elle and her team know, and there'll always be somebody on hand to support you and your organization. Now that is really just the tip of the iceberg, some of the ones that personally I'm most excited about, but we are always building. And this is some of the features that are coming very, very soon to Waybook accounts. Um, some of these are both on core and on pro. Um, so very soon we are introducing the concept of reference documents. Now a reference document will enable you to toggle on on any of your, your documents as reference, which means that your overall percentage of how something has been completed uh, will not be included within that. So this is often information like how to make tea and coffee in the office or information that you want centralized, but not all of your team members have to go through it. You can make it reference, um, people won't be uh, reminded and nagged and updated about it, but it will actually always be available and centralized for them. We have a new look navigation, which essentially is designed for additional access and readability. Um, it's uh, much easier and faster to navigate. There's less clicks to get to various different aspects. And it also creates uh, a slightly increased prevalence of the search feature, which we know is very popular along, uh, among a lot of different Waybook accounts. Um, we have due dates on documents. So say, for example, you've created a document that you want all of your team to do by a um, review by a specific date, or of course, you want them to review it within two weeks of getting access. Um, that's coming very soon. And in addition to that, in, in, in a short while after, you'll also be able to set recurring due dates. So one that I found particularly interesting was an HR team wanted all of the, all of the team members of the business 
to have to re-review the holiday, um, uh, the, the, the Christmas holiday policy on the 30th of November. So they didn't get all of those repetitive questions of how much holiday they could take over and when they took it. So you can simply set a due date uh, on a recurring basis for the 30th of November, and all of your team members will get reminded a short while before you need to review this document again, you need to approve that you understand this knowledge, insight or policy. Uh, we have an improved step editor coming across all of the plans, so this um, has a, a whole host of improvements which have been very well requested and discussed previously. Uh, one that I'm really excited about is slash commands. So of course now when you're creating any of your information, you click that plus for icon and you choose what different type of information or node you put in, whereas soon you'll be able to hit slash, type file, and you'll be able to just add your file directly to that. We also have improved table support, including images and tables and lots of other editability in that. And then also the deep link in between documents and steps as well. So currently, of course, you can hyperlink between documents and a lot of people um, create and structure their information in that way. But you'll soon be able to select any of your individual documents from a list from within your step editor. We've also got additional templates and a huge amount more coming to your waybook plan as well. So we uh, we really, really value all of the insight that you continue to provide as you're using Waybook. Um, and uh, we do keep that publicly viewable um, roadmap up to date. So if you're ever interested in what's coming next, you can always head on to our public roadmap, which is linked in the Help Center um, to see what's coming up. And you'll notice uh, that some of those bits on the exploring do move around quite regularly. Uh, the whole team look at all of the, the, the feedback, the engineering team look at all of the feedback, all of the uh, various different reports and analytics, and we take your request really seriously that we bump in a different priority order to make sure that we always get the most amount of value out to Waybook members as quickly as possible. So that really um, brings us largely towards the end of our Introducing Pro webinar. Um, the final thing is just to um, discuss how you can actually switch to Pro if you think any of these features or any of the other Pro features or up and coming ones are right for you and your organization. What you're able to do is just head into the settings section of your Waybook account. This will need to be done by an admin. Um, of course, and you can select billing and choose your plan, both your seats and whether you want to be on core or pro moving forward. Um, if you have lifetime seats on your account, so any lifetime seats, uh, which come in various different forms. Um, so never forget that if you refer a team, uh, if you refer a new team to Waybook, then you get an additional seat on your plan. Uh, if you do have any uh, lifetime seats on your account and you want to move into pro, then you can, of course, just contact support and they'll be able to manage that for you. The other thing to bear in mind is if you do have lifetime seats on your account, the only increase in price on your pro plan is the difference between the core and the pro. So you won't have to rebuy a whole seat if you already have a core seat on your plan. And then finally, just a reminder that if you wanted to play with any of these features and see if they work for your organization, everything apart from manager permission is available on all Waybook plans at the moment. And that will remain the same for the next two or so weeks. So you'll have access to everything up until the 14th of August. And then, of course, you can just choose whether you'd like to stay on that plan um, and you can make that switch at any time within that period. So thank you all so much for joining us today. It's been amazing to see so many friendly names that we recognize so many of them now because it's been amazing to speak with you and watch your businesses grow. We really wish you the very best of luck in centralizing your business's knowledge and of course, getting your whole business on the same page. We remain committed to help you get there and make sure that you empower your team to do their best work and of course, free up your headspace and your senior team's headspace to remove those repetitive questions, remove the ability or, or the inability to focus on new things because we're always churning on the existing challenges. We wish you the very best of luck in all that you're doing and we cannot wait to continue to grow with you. Thanks very much for your time and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye now.